What to learn next? This question I get pretty frequently and uh, finally I decided to make a video for you guys with a step-by-step -step guide of pen spinning trick learning order. Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov. And I guess that this guide will help you in your pen spinning journey, as I believe that uh, learning tricks in a certain order will be helpful and will make your progress much more efficient. As at least you won't jump right into really hardcore stuff and stuck at that point, as I did back then when I was a beginner. I divided tricks into four phases. You can learn them phase one after another. Each trick requires much more time and much more detailed tutorial and I have them on my channel. We'll leave all the necessary links in the description under this video. So the first phase is of course fundamentals. Fundamentals and figure 8 slash infinity I'd say. They are finger pass, finger pass reverse. One more time, don't get stuck at this trick. Don't try to master it and make it smooth. Doing just one two passes is enough. Sonic 3, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, Sonic Reverse 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, Charge of course in all possible slots, Charge Reverses, very important, don't skip it. Right after you've learned Charge Normal in all slots, learn Charge Reverse on, in all slots as well. And I would recommend you to not get stuck into charge continues. For some reason it seems pretty cool for beginners, I don't really understand why, because they are fundamental based mini combos and I have tutorials for them, because right after you learned all the fundamentals, you can combine them which this, with each other and form much better things than just charge continues, which is not that easy to learn and to master, and which is not really that impressive. Thumb around T2, T1 and thumb around reverse. All the fundamentals are crucial and very important tricks I have. There are a lot of different tutorials on YouTube for them. Me, I have two tutorials for some of them. And there is much more to say about them and I can't just waste a lot of time in this particular video about that. So just go into description under this video if you don't know them and learn them because it is an entry point. They introduce you to the most of pen spinning trick families and form foundation for your future progress as they are used as basis for most of tricks. Figure 8 and I would say that not figure 8 but jump right into infinity. I also have tutorial for figure 8 and infinity in the same video, because figure 8 by itself is extremely easy and it's not even a trick. You just do these motions, you don't even change the slot, you don't spin a pen, well, yeah. Make sure to learn normal and reverse variations in the all possible slots. Usually I show all possible slots in the tutorial for the trick, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to learn using the same conception. Next phase, filler tricks, which form foundation for your combos, at least first of them. Twisted Sonic is used a lot, very popular and very used trick. It is important to know in all slots and also normal and reverse variation. Warped Sonic is not the most popular trick, but it gives you a concept of doing this round passes, charge motion passes, which are important if you want to make your spinning look handsomely. Also learn it in all possible slots and in all possible directions. Well, learning tricks in slot 3-4 will be challenging, but I highly recommend you to pay attention on it, because learning tricks in 3-4 3, 4 and 2, 3 will help you to develop your pinky. Also, to help you develop your pinky, you can make these exercises, which I show in one of my videos, which is devoted only to pinky. It is called No Pinky Problem or something like that. I will leave links in the description. Watch it for sure. Fingerless thumb around, fingerless thumb around triggers. Again, both are important to know, but I'd say that fingerless thumb around triggers you will use much more frequently. In most cases you will replace simple thumb around triggers by it. And also, to my mind, it is easier to learn. New Sonic. Now this trick you will need just to do this cool mini combo. Not just fooling around, this is an important trick, but at the same time it is one of the 
easiest tricks. It is that easy that I put new Sonic and new Sonic Reverse into one video tutorial. Wouldn't be hard to learn, so learn it in T1 and T2 at least, and also normal and reverse variation. Learning it in T3 will not be so useful, but wouldn't hurt. The third phase around based tricks. Now, previous two phases didn't require you to have a properly made, professionally pre made, decent pen mode. Victory mode would be fine for you to learn just them. But for third phase and all the next of them, it is not enough. You will need some pen mode with the proper length, weight, balance. Yeah, spinning with victory at this phase will be boring and uh, extremely hardcore at the same time. And the best place to get a pen mod is penstock.net, shop for pen spinners with the delivery to every country of the world. Huge choice of worldwide known, famous and popular pen mods gathered in one place. And also there are uh, bunch of accessories and spare parts for pen mods. For example, recently I added this pen spinning mats, which don't only look cool, they are pretty light, you can take them wherever you want, but they also protect your table, table from damaging, and also, which I personally appreciate most of all, it mutes sound. Yeah, you can compare this sound with this. So first of all, I'd recommend you to start with backgrounds and backs, which are pretty similar, relatively similar, but I would say that backs also known as Korean backgrounds, you will use much more frequently. At this point it is okay to skip just background reverses, but make sure to learn background index, index background, middle background, ring background, pinky background, and Korean backgrounds, also known as backs. I have tutorial for all of them also on my channel, but just don't try to jump right into backfall at this point. Take your pace and it is going to slow you down because it is a really tough mini micro combo. Extended thumb around is extremely useful. I'd say one of the most maybe important useful tricks in pen spinning, one of my favorites. This trick you will use in most cases instead of simple thumb around. Together with it you can also learn how to do fake double and also you need to learn how to not confuse these two tricks. Yes, they look a little bit similar, but I have a separate video about core difference between them. And at this point I'd say that you don't need to learn reverse extended thumb around, because it will be too hardcore for you and not that useful. At this point, of course. Bust! Actually, this is background index background reverse. So, at least one reversed background I recommend you to learn, but in combination with the two different tricks. I would recommend you to learn Twisted Sonic Bust, which will introduce you to learning this trick, actually, how to do it, and to extend the thumb round bust, which will introduce you to multiple busts. The fourth, final phase for today is top spin based tricks. In previous phases you could learn tricks in any order you prefer, you like. In this phase I recommend you to start with the shadow. It is the easiest way to understand how to let your pen go out of slot and spin by itself. Shadow can be done in numerous different slots and it would be nice to be able to do it in all of them. But in particular I would recommend you to learn shadow still 1-2, shadow still 2-3, Shadow 2, 3, 1, 2, back and forth, and Shadow 2, 3, 3, 4, back and forth as well. Learn these slots and others would be a piece of cake. Tap. Half tap and especially full tap is a good way to learn how to balance your pen mode. It is an entry point to such cool tricks as thumb spin, scissor spin and thumb bounce. First learn half tap, then full tap, and after that you can mess around with this trick for a while, trying to add uh, new rotations, new spins, but don't get stuck for too long. D doing double tap will be fine. New bags, at least index new bag and middle new bag, is an entry point to a whole bunch of cool different linkages and mini combos. Power pass. Some may say that it is more of a power trick, but I'd say that it is more of a top spin tricks, but not entirely, of course. For me, power pass is a kind of milestone which separates wannabe pen spinners 
from pen spinners. I mean, if you know Power Pass, chances are that your combos are already more or less interesting to watch. You can battle, you can make more or less interesting solo videos, take part in collaboration videos. Chances are. Of course, it is not the rule, but for majority of what I've seen, it is true. You can disagree with me in the comment section below, but only if you already know how to do Power Pass. If not, get back to grinding the previous phases. And if you already know how to do power pass, why do you watch this video in the first place? Go to our subreddit rpenspin, there you will find the list of levels, trick levels in pen spinning. And actually each phase, for example phase 2, you can go to the list of uh, level 2 tricks and expand your trick library by adding all the tricks from this level. Also you can find this list of uh, trick levels on penstock.net as well. So you you go there and learn tricks from that level. Though skipping them at this point will be just fine and okay. If you learn tricks by using this guide, this will make your progression go more efficient. I wish you good luck with all that, may this tale be with you. Bye.